your performance in this fight and as far as what you see moving forward for the future, um, obviously everyone's talking about Terrence Crawford. Is that a legitimate chance of happening or do you guys feel like you're miles and miles apart? Uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not thinking about that. I'm thinking about, you know, seeing my kids tomorrow and chilling on my ranch and finally riding my horses at the 10 to a weeks and, you know, just chilling out and eating some good food. So we'll see what, you know, what, what holds in the future. But right now, you know, it's to enjoy myself. I had a long year and a half, you know, to come back and, um, you know, work hard, train hard and just was 120% focused. And uh, I'm going to wind down for like a week or two till I get back on the ball. This motherfucker is not disabled. He's a fucking fighter. So I'm not going to be like, well, this is his fight back and, you know, let him live and all that. Yo, did y'all notice something tonight? The longtime viewers and subscribers. I've been here. Been here for hours. In fact, the replay of the pay-per-view right now was on the TV. 75 bucks I paid. You know, let me just go ahead and say something. I don't consider myself media. Yeah, I got credentials and shit hanging back there, but when I first, like, really, really wanted to, like, cover boxing and, like, be close to the boxers because, you know, I was, you know, younger, naive, 37 now. I thought, like, you know what? I'm going to fucking cover the sport, and, you know, with honesty and integrity, I'm not going to, like, be a motherfucking coon. I'm not going to be a motherfucker that's going to be holding itself out here for views and shit like that. And here I am now, five years ago, five years is when, you know, I joined Real Combat Media. And that's when, you know, I went from being just some guy that was doing videos on YouTube to actually getting to the events. And, you know, when I look back on, like, who I was then, I made a lot of mistakes. And I'm not one to, like, make excuses, especially since I'm a grown-ass fucking man and I don't make excuses for grown men. But I did have a lot of fucked up shit going on in my life and a lot of health shit. I used to be, you know, saying, well, one day I'm going to get there to the events. I'm going to be there at ringside, all that shit. Nobody believed me. They were like, ah, you know, ah, just keep doing videos from your mom's basement. You know how niggas is. <laughs> I guess what I'm saying is this. This was some bitch ass motherfucking. I was great dropping F bomb. This was some bitch ass shit he just said. Like Earl Spence been on some bitch shit. Let me tell you something. I, I guess I'm sorry. Let's say I'm a fan tonight. Let's say I'm a fan. I'm not no media. I'm not nothing, none of that. I'm a fucking fan. Like, yo, here, here's a better one. And we're going to talk about it. And I'm, you don't have to agree with me. You don't have to watch the video. Hell, dislike the motherfucker. I don't, you don't. I'm not worried about anybody right now. So listen, like, it's just like, I, 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 I spoke to him. I remember the first time I ever met Errol Spence in person. Now me, you will never see me taking pictures with boxers. I don't ask them to sign shit. I've said it for years. I don't get starstruck. They just regular motherfuckers to me. It's just that they got more money than me. That's it. They just regular motherfuckers. And they're in better shape. They're fucking athletes. So when I'm meeting these boxers, I'm like, all right, let's talk. Let's see who you are as a person. That type shit. I'm like sizing them up and everything. Like, wow. Like how much? I, I, I'm guessing. Like I wonder what his walk around weight is. You know, shit like that. Couple times, especially in the Barclay Center, I stumbled on him when he was drunk. I was like, oh shit, I'm the type of motherfucker where it's like this. If I see you really, really fucked up, I'm not the type of motherfucker that's going to be interviewing you and shit. I don't want to be like, oh, he drunk. Oh, let me go put the camera in his face. Get this. I'm just really, really disappointed in him. You know, because one thing the fuck this, the, the black cloud has been hanging over this fight for me all week has been the fuck. I can't talk about Terrence Crawford because it's like the motherfucker's not going to fight. That's, this whole fight week, it's like, we know he's not going to fight Terrence Crawford next. We know he's probably not going to call him out. And I understand the PBC business model. I've been to it. A lot of fans don't understand PBC is a league. They've been treating themselves like a league for the longest. They've been trying to get themselves their own belt and rankings for quite some time. I get all that, but like just announce that you're a league, that fighters have to be with you to fight you. But in this case, it's just like, listen to this bitch ass shit. Like it's frustrating. Cause it's like, yo, and I bet you he ain't gonna get no flack for it from, from, from motherfuckers, even on his own side. That's yes men shit. 
It's like, yo, like, you know, everybody want to see it. Now, don't get me wrong. They talked about it. They've both said they FaceTime, they talk to each other. They understand the money and the politics and everything. But if this, the longer they wait, listen, do you think that Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford can do a million pay-per-view buys? No. I'm interested to see these pay-per-view numbers. This fight was not trending this week. Even though we were giving Danny Garcia a chance, this fight was more so about the Errol Spence eye test. How is he going to look? I watched this fight for the first time in years. I watched a pay-per-view fight in bed. I was like, I was in the bed watching this shit. For one, I was pissed off at the undercard. Like, boxing is not going to change. Boxing, like, boxing doesn't need me. You see what I'm saying? I'm not some motherfucker that feels like, oh, he entitled boxing out of the... No. I've dealt with that for years and years and years. People think that I think the world owes me something. There's always somebody trying to knock me down and notch some shit. Like, oh, this motherfucking thing. I just want to see motherfucking fights. Factor in that my videos are live and uncut. You know how many fights I have done on YouTube where it is me. Me. When you're watching the fight, when the fight's going off, I'm here recording. When the post-fight interview, these are live reactions. And, and a couple of years ago, that's why I added the time in my shit. Where is that? Ah. That's why I added all that. Like, it's just frustrating. Listen to this bitch ass shit. It's like, bro, like, come on, man. What they were doing. Mm -hmm. So what does it say? Do you have this big fan base oh, here? God. You God. May buy a couple of horses and goats and cows and chickens and things like that. that. But you no, know, right now I'm just gonna chill out, man. Enjoy this, 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 a little bit of a layoff. You know, it was a hard year and a half, a year and a half for me, you know, coming back and, um, you know, I need to rest a little bit and not really think about boxing for like a week and then uh, jump back on the ball. But, you know, I'm not going to get out of shape. I'm not going to get too fat. You know, I'm going to keep working and stay in the gym. Derek, question over here. Uh, could you go into a little... Since you use a jab, it's very... What's heck tomorrow? It's toward the end of the 11th round. You know, whatever. I'm just naturally strong. People are spoke. I forgot the timestamp. Where was it at? It was before setback Just, question. You know, I'm glad I. By the way, Terrence Crawford was there, and I've already said. Let's just go ahead and talk about it because, let me tell you something. That shit that Bob Arum did really still rubs me the wrong way. You know, not only did he bash his own fighter in media, but then he went to known, top rank, and Bud Crawford slanderer channels. And then double down on the shit. Like, that shit was fucked up. Now, me, to be honest with you, I want Bud to go to PBC now. Because looking at things, he's not going to get the fights that he wants. By the way, we got to hold Sean Porter accountable. You know what we're going to do? I really think that I should pull up the timestamp. Sean Porter wants, he's saying that he wants um, um, Terrence Crawford. But the question is, Will it be like, oh, well, he's got to come over here or will he ask for some crazy amount of money? You know, that's not going to be feasible, you know? So that's my question. My fucking nose hairs are in uproar, man. My hard work and... But yeah, Tim Crawford was at the fight. Gritty. Uh, yeah, I think I heard him a couple times with Biden and I heard just a little bit. To, to, to make it a big fight? Uh, no. I mean, he got to live up to his words. If he... Listen to the this. Ranch, very understandable. I think he was getting kind of frustrated. Errol, great performance. Um, I know, I know, you already talked about getting back to the ranch. Very understandable. Um, but what did you think of of Terrence showing up ringside? Do you think that helps build some buzz to to, to make it a big fight? Uh, no. I mean, he got to live up to his words. If he if he say he's not worried about me, then I don't know why he doing what, what he was doing here. I probably wouldn't go to none of his fights, so I'm not worried about Terrence Crawford. Like I said, I'm going to enjoy my time with my kids and uh, chill out and just reflect on this year and a half that, you know, I came back and, um, you know, we're going to move on in the summertime and see who I fight. So uh, we'll see. I got to talk to my manager, Al Heyman, and uh, we'll go from there. Derek, you're the only coach in boxing that has... Nah. By the way, I do think that um um Derek James is trainer of the year. I think so. 
So, what the fuck is next? You know, let's go look at the rankings. He's not fighting him. If you didn't see Terrence Crawford's Instagram live, I put some snippets of it on the channel. I actually did a video on it. You should check it out. You should check it out because from what I'm getting from it is he kind of don't want to go to PBC. It's like it's almost like he want to be his own guy and you know, but he do have to do a better job in selling himself though. That's for damn sure. And I get it. People say the promoter's supposed to do that. No, it's on both of you. You know, but that's you know a lot of people don't be understanding the game, man. A lot of people don't be understanding the game. By the way, Errol Spence basically has three mandatories with the IBF. That's what the IBF get for doing that bullshit. You know, it's going to be distasteful to some, but we got to talk about it. Errol Spence wasn't injured because it just was he was in a car accident. He was drinking and driving. We're not supposed to mention that shit, though, right? So, and the reason why I'm only bringing that up is because I'm like, well, wait a minute. Why would the IBF create an interim for that? Like, he should have been stripped, my personal opinion. Actually, it should have, but whatever. The point I'm trying to make is now the IBF situation is a shit show. So basically, Errol Spence doesn't have a mandatory. He may have one, maybe two more fights before he has to fight as mandatory. Because as it stands right now, these guys, Costio Clayton and Sergey Limp Limpignets, fought. It was about a month or so ago. I covered that fight. Uh, very, very low ratings and a battle to a draw. They only fought because him right here caught Kudratrillo. Lord knows, Akduk Kahorov. I'm going to get better as time goes on. I was, I was actually at his last fight. Surprise, shockingly, um, ringside with Steve Kim. This was, was it Bertha B.F. Volsdick? Or was it the Carl Frampton with his fucking... Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is this. All three of them got to figure that shit out. So who is Errol Spence going to fight next? Now, you have to factor in his next fight is likely going to be pay-per-view again. It's three straight. They don't put you on pay-per-view to take you off pay-per-view. And they got to put him with somebody that can sell a little bit or they're going to have to stock the car with a bunch of Mexicans and Hispanics. That's what they do. And then during the COVID era, by the way, there was supposedly uh, 16,000 in attendance there tonight. There's a lot of motherfuckers. You know, and they, you know, from it, it wasn't like it was with Tank Davis Leo where at the end of the fight, they was all crowded around each other and shit, spreading the rona. In this case, it looked like they really did they, a good job keeping them apart. It's playing in the background on the TV. I don't have it hooked up here, so I, I can pull it up. I should, we should do a jump cut, right? And pull up the post-fight shit. I might as well just do it in this video. Oh, shit. He just got knocked the fuck out. What's this? The first fight? Is that Eduardo Ramirez? Wait, I'm sorry. Let's get back to it. It's just that, like, my I'm 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 extremely frustrated with boxing. If you haven't noticed, yeah, I'm doing my videos, and it's funny enough, my channel now is the most successful it's been since like I first, you know, like since like 2016. I had a lot of drama and trauma in my life, shit like that. But I guess what I'm saying is now, like, I'm really losing my passion for the shit. But it's unfortunate, like, I can't see myself not doing videos on boxing though. I'm gonna be a motherfucking 60 year old man somehow somewhere doing videos. But doing uh, it's, it's frustrating because when you see a guy like Errol Spence, to see where he's come from, like I like his very first fights, you know, I was at his fight with um, when he fought Chris Algieri, by the way. When you see, you know, like I used to watch his, when he was on Golden Boy on Fox Sports. Fox Sports, what is it? Uh, uh, Golden Boy Fight Night on Fox Sports. Years ago when Golden Boy and Heyman were like, you know, the Cold War. And to see now like this bitch ass shit, like, all right it's double standards are everywhere me don't people think that i give a fuck about these motherfucking boxers in regards to like me picking sides remember if so whoever wins or loses i always win that's how it is with us youtubers that's why i can never understand the alliances and the allegiances i do to a certain extent but say for example if a boxer gets knocked out that's not supposed to get knocked out guess what it's trending so therefore we get more views so if Terrence Crawford or him get knocked out, guess what? Who wins? Hello? Mm -hmm. Derek, you're the day. only coach in boxing that has two unified champions. I think he, I, I, I really like, I'm a Derek over. James stand. No homo. That's some gay shit. You know, but anyway, I like Derek James. Like, I, you know how like you hear shit about people? Basically, I've, you hear nothing but good, like solid. I learned some shit pretty much. 
They'll find somebody to jump in front of me. They'll try to, but they really can't do it this time. But I yeah, he's trainer of the year. You got to give it to him, right? The circumstances, but you know, you never know. They'll find somebody. And remember, I had Jamel Charlo defeating Tony Harrison in the first fight. I was at that fight too, by the way. Oh, and that's when them Texas motherfuckers were just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I had triggered the Charlos. I was reading some shit off of Twitter. I was like, all right, people like, yo, T Street, you know how you'll put. Like, you know, all right, I'm at the post fight press conference. Put some question, you know. And somebody was like, yo, T Street, I forgot who it was, said, ask Charlo what he think about social media saying that he lost, meaning Jamal Charlo against Corbolf. And I was like, uh, hey, oh shit. I was like, hey, Jamal. Um, and I gave him a disclaimer. I said, This is probably gonna, you know, upset you or something, but on social media, they're saying that you lost. So I read the shit back and he just was like, Who are you? Like, I don't know you. What you? I was like, Fight View 360? <laughs> he was like, ha, never heard of you. <laughs> oh, anyway. I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'm rambling, right? I guess I'm rambling. And also, the cards playing in the background. I didn't wake up until the fucking rewonks. And I'm watching this shit in the bed. And I had, I just, this whole week, this whole week, if you noticed, I've been like, I, I haven't been... The one reason why, I, the number one reason I haven't been filling the, filling the fight is because they're not going to fight each other. Like I said, all right, let me wait for the bullshit. So once the fight's over, Errol Spence is going to win. And let's see what he says about Terrence Crawford. Nothing, some bitch shit. You know? I just want to see the fights just like you guys. Why are we waiting so long? Like, what the fuck? They're number one and number two in the division. Get the fucking fight done. You know? And I get that right now, Errol Spence is the A-side. But they're not trying to get the fight done. Errol Spence did pass the eye test, though. Proud of him, having for it. You know, because to, 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 for what he went through, in fact, let me pull this shit up right here. This is from um, UFC journalist Ariel Wani here. Look at this. Now, look at this. What's wrong with this statement right here? Curious how that's different from any... Well, this is first Kevin Ioli. Here's his tweet. This is total chicken shit of the PBC broadcast where they mention at least nine welterweights and don't mention Bud Crawford. But one thing they did do is they did put PBC welterweights. In fact, let's do a jump cut so I can pull up some more shit. Please subscribe, like, watch the video. I guess we may go for half an hour. Six dollars, it makes sense, right? At a certain point, if it's ripe enough and the fans will be clamoring. Two of the best fighters in the world. Mayweather would say. My bad. Well, he was at the fight, as you can see, Terrence Crawford. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and put this plug in. I hope when the time comes that um, you guys, you know, support the content that I'm going to be putting out outside of boxing. I've been working on some projects over the last uh, couple of years. And one of them is something that I never thought I would be involved in, which is father's advocacy. You know, did you notice how it's easy to remove a parent, in this case, fathers from the child's life, but how difficult it is to keep them in it? You know, stuff like that. Um, family court help. Um, there's some things I wish I didn't have to talk about that I've learned that it's like, you know, we have to talk about making sure you keep your children safe from pedophiles. It's distressing to talk about. And the type of work that I'm doing behind the scenes, um, I've been dabbling in Philadelphia politics. I'm not trying to become a politician. It's just that you got like the same way I've learned about like the boxing, boxing media and press releases and all kind of stuff like that. I get the stuff from Philly. So, you know, if there's like a major trial or press conference with the Philadelphia police about homicides, all that type of shit and just, oh, the worst of the worst. I get those emails. So, I'm going to start, you know, I covered the um, Philly riots and the looting. Um, I cover, you know, the Walter Wallace um, case or the story. I've dabbled in, you know, um, I've been keeping things close to the chest pretty much because I got a lot of eyes watching and a lot of people thought, you know, um, that I was bullshitting around. And I guess, you know, I am dancing around a little bit because it's certain things I can't say because there's some litigation coming up that I'm hoping 
if everything goes well, I'm going to document it all. And there's a documentary coming out. So my frustration with boxing is because it's like, yo, I don't need this fucking money. I do it because I love it. And when I got to see these motherfuckers bullshitting around, when I could be using my time for more shit to do good, like I said, boxing don't need me. It doesn't need me. You know, but it's just, it's frustrating from a media standpoint or, for, or even from a for, for a fan because I can't explain to motherfuckers like, well, why? Like, I try to explain to the casual fans why these motherfuckers are not fighting. You can't. They're like, what? So, well, you know? And then you got Mike Tyson, Roy Jones pull up 1.2 million buys, even though it was 50 bucks, it's 75. And then it's just like, uh, and then for Errol Spence to say some shit like that, it's just like, yo, so now you on that type shit, type, the type shit that Keith Thurman was doing to you. Remember when Keith Thurman wanted Robert Guerrero and Robert Guerrero was like, nah, you ain't on my level, that type shit. Then Keith Thurman started doing the Errol Spence. Now Errol Spence, like, bro, 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 bro. I'm tired of this bitch ass shit. I'm sorry. And it's not just him. I know they're going to be super hardcore Errol Spence guys in the chat talking all kind of shit. Go ahead. Let me have it. I've had the worst on YouTube. <laughs> Go ahead. Say all this shit. Go ahead. Call me out my name. Say, oh, yeah, you are. You fucking nerd. <laughs> but I'm tired of it. This is our fight and they bullshitting around. The fight, what if Errol Spence could have never fought for it again? They, look, what would people say? Damn, they should have made that fight when they could have. And he fucking, they back on the bullshit again. I would rather PBC just go ahead and announce that you're a league. And then I'm like, all right, well, you know. They are, they're a league. Go ahead, but just announce it. Just say you're a league. Like, just like the UFC, you know, or Bellator. And that's why you get motherfucking Ariel putting shit like this out. Like, this is what PBC wants. I'm not knocking anybody's business plan. It's just like, yo, stop fucking bullshitting us around. I'm trying to act like Terrence Crawford don't exist. I'm glad during the graphic. I wish I had the graphic. I'm glad that they pulled the graphic up when they showed before they would say top welterweights. And then they put PBC top welterweights. They fixed that shit. But none of them were in, like, with Terrence Crawford. You clearly see that they have their own league and it's in-house money. But it's kind of a smack in the face to the fan. It is. People say, it is. Because they're all fighting for the same belts. Like he says. No, because MMA, there's UFC title and the Bellator title, etc. In boxing, they're all fighting for the same belt. See? And then you got a casual like this. Are they? Tyson Fury is ranked number one as champ by the WBC in the ring, but isn't even ranked by the WB, IBF, or WBO. Bro. When you're a champion, just when you're a champion, you're not ranked by any of the sanctioning bodies, you know? And I wish the sanctioning bodies worked together more often to order fights to fight each other like they tried to do with Sergey Kovalev and Adonis Stevenson. But you have to look that up. Like when they made a champion a mandatory for another champion, they wanted to fight so bad, you know? But it was a purse bid situation. PBC was motherfucking throwing money around like it was candy and main event and HBO couldn't do it. So it's like, nah. Anyway, I'm done talking about this. You know, it's hard to find reasons to cover a lot of these fights. But I could be doing like they don't mean nothing. And this remember, this is not a job to me. So it's not like, oh, I gotta cover these fights. Like it's not. And then covering boxing on YouTube is fucked. Because if you're not fucking doing a narrative or fucking chasing fucking it's just ill boxing just need to be purged all and they just need to be need to be broken down and re and re put together it needs to be broken down and, and just, just 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 remade just just built just back up again because it's just like this like i can't sit here and keep covering these fights man fucking three o'clock in the morning i was asleep all day and i'm still tired why because i'm up all fucking night the night before Fucking trying to get videos fucking back. They taking copyright shit. I'm out of here. I'm Teacher Controversial. Fight360.com. Please subscribe.